Okay, it's been a few months since my last update. Um, I had a whole bunch of videos saved and my hard drive crashed and I've been trying to recover it to no avail. So I will kind of pick up where I'm at now. Um, as you can see, I got the landing gear on, the engine mounted, and it's starting to look like an airplane. Um, I think last video I was working on the slats. So I've got slats and everything are finished. I took um, took receipt of the finishing kit. Um, so I've been right before the finishing kit came. I got the all the tail feathers mounted. So I got everything's kind of roughly in there, but I do have I got my cables ran. Still got to get. Uh, put the tie down hook in there not sure they make it's like 150 bucks being get a, a plastic uh it's almost like a tail skid that comes out that i've seen on some guys um you can buy them online so i'm thinking about getting that <clears throat> gotta do some trimming in there to get i don't think i have enough I don't think I have enough down elevator deflection, but uh, we'll get the protractor out and see. Um, did a, did do a whole bunch of trimming to up there to get that to fit. Got the the fairings are done and cut out and mounted. Or, uh, drilled out to final size and just all I got to do is rivet them in but wait till the very end to do that uh, I haven't done that cable fairing yet this one's kind of roughly in there I gotta see I don't know if anyone's done videos on these fairings specifically I know they've shown kind of the little outlets that they make but no one's shown how they've taking the holes that were there and cut them and how they got the parts to fit. So it's kind of, um, not, not the biggest fan. I did 3D print some, someone had the model online. I don't know. We'll see what I end up with. And then the, uh, the piece of plastic goes on the backside there. But I think I need to, that hole still gotta be a little bit bigger. Moving back up front, gear went on pretty much without a hitch. Followed the, the home built help videos were pretty much spot on, at least as far as I know. Um, this bottom chunk of rubber, drill the holes in the center. I had to trim each side a little bit. And then this top piece of rubber um, sits further back. I think that's just so that when when this deflects, won't pinch the rubber in there too much. Um, polished up, just there's a real nasty burr all the way down the length of this. So I polished up just the front and back side where the burr was. It's nice and smooth now. But wheels are on. I think I do have a video of the wheels going together, so I'll probably show that. And here's the engine. It is temporarily on there. I just wanted to get it on there to uh, get the weight up front so I get the wings and everything on. But I uh, believe I'm going to overhaul this engine. So it's just kind of sitting here for now, taking up space. Um, spray painted the engine mount myself. Not entirely happy with how it turned out. So I think I'm going to... Send, start sending everything back out for powder coating. Um, I got some trimming left to do too. These little tabs stick out. There's a good view. Stick out further than I think is allowed. So I'll end up cutting those off. Um, it was not not the most enjoyable thing to drill that and attach it, but. Uh, I guess it worked. Waiting on 
need to order some washers to go in here. These bolts are bottomed out, so this isn't uh, as tight as it should be. But it fits. Wasn't sure if it was going to fit. This thing's out of an old uh, Cessna 140. Um, that was the exhaust that was on. It looks like it'll be just about perfect for this, so it'll save me there. Won't, won't have to make an exhaust. We'll see once I order the cowling how the... Uh, the uh, air inlet works. I think I'll have to find a spot for the oil cooler too. Um, got the nose gear on. I gotta tighten up all the. I don't have. Don't have these shoved as far up as they should go. But there's enough friction in those pucks. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to lubricate those pucks. They're pretty darn stiff. You gotta move them one at a time. Um, but that's in there. I got the rudder pedals are hooked up. Got the, the cables ran. They're loose right now. Um, got the steering rods. Everything's, oh, nose wheel's a little crooked, but otherwise these would be in line. So I'll be running the brakes soon. Starting started putting together the door. Figured I'd do the passenger side first. That way if I screwed up, it wouldn't bug me every time I got in and out of the plane. And I think I screwed up only a little bit. The door doesn't open nearly as far as I was hoping. Um, I think one solution might be to get a longer uh, air cylinder and then just move that mount right down a Make a new set of holes and move that whole thing down a little bit and uh, longer throw of the air cylinder should work. Ideally, I would have mounted the air cylinder further um, further up into that, that pivot point, but that bracket, this bracket here can't really go any further, um, can't go any further up. It's because on the bottom here, it hits that back gusset. So I guess I could have gone over the top of the gusset if I really wanted to, but um, those air cylinders are, I think, 10 or 15 bucks, so I'll just get one of those. But I mean, for right now, it closes pretty darn tight, which is nice and kind of cams over. So I will do a video of me attempting to drill the holes for all of the windows, which I got those in the box back there. All the, the hardware for the other door sitting down there. And still got a box full of goodies. What the calipers are there. Gotta send a handful of parts out to get powder coated. And that's about it. So probably get the next door going and then kind of itching to get the wings mounted, see what those look like. If I get those fuel lines plumbed. And then get the windows on. So hopefully I get all that done this year yet, and then I'll save uh, save the engine for a winter project, overhaul that, and start figuring out what to do with the avionics. So that's it for now. Hopefully uh, we get some videos going again here real soon.